part two of my review of Vow Factor. And just as a recap, in my last video, I was talking about the materials I could sort of detect in this fragrance, which is a fig-based fragrance that is very green. And again, um, it's really more in the direction of the fig tree and uh, a very, very green version of the fig accord. And if you saw my previous video, obviously I do like very much this fragrance. And I was talking about the kind of wedding vibe that it gave off. And it wasn't necessarily the standard Italian wedding. And I got a photo for you guys. So I asked my sister to send me a picture of her in her wedding dress. And this is what it looked like. This was about two decades ago. And her dress was custom made by one of our friends. The top was made with, uh, I think, a raw kind of silk. Um, it had like beadwork. Anyways, it was really uh, beautiful. And she was kind of like inspired by older weddings in Quebec when, where they weren't really done with uh, big white dresses. That was introduced way later on. So women just got married in, you know, whatever gown that they preferred. And my sister's wedding sort of had a low key fairy uh, theme to it. The chapel was lined with peacock feathers and we all went to celebrate their wedding afterwards um, at a nature center. And, you know, we all had fun outside. Everyone changed and, you know, it was a really good time outdoors. And this is what that perfume really reminds me of. It's really more of that kind of vibe. And fun little fact, the, the cap of it and also the lining of the box actually is kind of in the same tones as my sister's wedding dress. So I wish this existed 20 years ago. I would have offered this to my sister for her wedding. I think it would have been a perfect fit. So if that is kind of your vibe, um, you're certainly going to enjoy this fragrance. And I also did a little, another little exercise. I wanted to compare it with different kinds of figs. The first example that I have in my collection is Adults by Killian, and I don't know if they still make this fragrance, but this one is really more in the creamier direction. So Adults is powdery, creamy, um, a lot sweeter, and I would say much more fruitier. I would say it's more in the direction of something like passion fruit and peaches. And the next one is Eros Fig by Libertine Fragrance, which is a Canadian brand that I recently discovered. And um, look at this card is really fun, by the way. Um, if you looked at my reviews, I kind of talk about it, but there's actually a space where you can spray uh, your sample on. And Eros Fig is also in the fruitier direction, but it's also a little bit greener than the version of Killian. So I would say this one is like in between Vow Factor and Adults by Killian. There's a similarity between this one and Vow Factor in the sense that they have greener notes. You have like a little bit of ambret seed and, you know, the bitter leafiness. But I do feel this one is much more sultry. I, I would say the one from Killian and this one is much more sultry than Vow Factor. I do love all three. It just depends on what you're looking for, like a fruitier version, a greener or even greener version. In a nutshell, I do recommend this fragrance and suggest grabbing it as soon as it becomes available again. It's sold out right now.